Welcome to Healthy Pets, Healthy Owners. I'm Dr. Edmund Solkowski, and I'm here with Abby and Tucker to welcome Charlotte Delant. Charlotte, hey. or Char as we know you as, yes, I am. welcome to Healthy Pets, Healthy Thank Owners. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You know, our topic today is going to be on the Ionic's Ionic Foot Bath Cleanse, and I'm going to ask Char to explain that, something that I, I've done years ago with Char and stopped it when I moved away, but I didn't stop the Ionic Cleanse. I actually bought my own unit. So, mm -hmm. so what is an Ionic uh, Foot Bath Cleanse, Char? Well, uh, the purpose in the Ionic Foot Bath is to detoxify the body on a cellular level. So uh, pulling uh, substances foreign substances out of the cell is very important because if you don't, there's no place for nutrition to get in the cell to rebuild and repair the cells. So you need to get space in your cells. And as a cellular cleanse, it pulls out many different substances. And how it does that is the, uh, it, the machine, it's a machine and it's all computerized. It um, generates oxygen and positive and negative ions. Well, before you go into the details of yeah. that, let's talk about how we do detox. We detox a lot through our feet. That's why our feet sweat. It's a Correct. natural detoxing Correct. process. Yeah. So um, what, what, what the situation is with the foot bath is you have very hot water. Very it, hot water hot to open can, the pores. As hot as you can tolerate. So osmosis can occur. Things can come out and things can go in too. And, and you know, often sometimes they'll say, gee, my feet stink. That's those toxins coming out through the That's soles right. of your feet. Exactly, just like your arms. Yeah, exactly. And we, we tend to cover our feet up and, and put them in sho shoes and socks and all that kind of stuff. And, and we tend to trap those things in there and stop that process from occurring. We do, we do. So we come to Char, and you're, you operate out of Sunnybridge uh, Natural f uh, Foods. I'm there in, one in day Murray, a week, Every Ed, Saturday. Every Saturday. And when you need an appointment for you, first of all, I want to make that clear with everybody Correct. that we need an appointment. You can't just walk in because your book's solid. Yes, I get pretty booked. And then you work out of your home as well. Correct. And so just explain the process. You have this foot bath with hot water in there. Okay. And we know we're energy. We know that. Our Correct. cells can, we can measure. I have a device actually that I can place on your body and measure various cellular imp uh, voltages in millivolts on different areas of your body. And then we also, we can measure brain function through an EEG and heart function through an EKG. Correct. So we know we're electronic. Yes, we are. So now if you would back up a little bit and tell us about what this electronic device does. Well, this device has a little instrument called an array that goes in the water with you. And it is computerized. And uh, my goal is to get that machine up to a certain volt and amp which will start the drawing process as the little machine called the array generates positive and negative ions and oxygen that go into the body through the soles of the feet. Uh, you want to get that energy up to a range that will start the drawing process. So the machine kind of clicks back and forth, kind of like a, di a little dialysis machine through the feet. In fact, it helps people with that issue. Uh, bringing uric acid out. And the oxygen goes up and, and it grabs toxins. The positive and negative ions grab toxins out of the cell. So it, you're, in a sense, making a magnet almost. Exactly. And, That's exactly and what it you is. have a north pole and a south pole. Right. And they're at opposite ends. Correct. And it's pulling, it's causing this flow. And we know <clears throat> that our, our body flows through the limb system. Exactly. And so we're actually... We only activate our lymph system, and a lot of people don't, aren't aware of this, but we only activate that lymph system, which is meant to help drain these toxins out of our body. Exactly. If we're jumping, if we're running up and down stairs, if we're walking, if we're running. Otherwise, that system kind of goes in limbo a little bit, yeah. and almost to a sleep, and isn't that effective? Yeah. And, we, and we know how important that is when we get something like like diseases for mumps, for example, and our lymph nodes swell up, that's them doing their job to exactly. keep that toxin from hitting our organs. Yes. So it pulls them in here, and then we end up draining. Of course, medicine wants to get rid of the symptoms right away, and, and, and sometimes you need to do that, but we want to let our bodies do what they're supposed to do. Exactly. So, so this foot cleanse actually aids the lymph system in getting rid of the toxins out of our body. 
Yep, it, it actually does target the lymphatic system. Very important because those lymph, those lymph glands are little baby organs, actually, and they can get a, you know, their job is to help filter toxins, you know, before it gets to some of the main organs. Right. So if I wanted to do this, um, I just call up, make an appointment. Correct. And do I have to prepare anything before Well, I tell in? my clients, uh, uh, drink a lot of water the day before. If you don't drink water in general, you really should. In fact, I always say half of your body weight in ounces every day. And I would tell you more than that. I would Clean, tell you a I, liter for every 50 pounds of body weight. And I weight. believe that. And, and if you're exercising, or even, even if it's more. cold out, you need, you need you or need. if you're drinking coffee, or you're, mm -hmm. you're, you know, things that keep you in a dehydrated state, you're working out too much. You need more. You're, you need more. That's right. Absolutely. You're correct. But you need, uh, you need water with electrolytes in there. You need water with electrolytes. And I tell them to do that the day before, the day of, and the day after. And, of course, I tell them continue, you know, if they're not water drinkers, to do that. Because that's your electric charge. We are electricity, we are like electricity. you said. And if we don't, you know, we know that when your electrolytes go out, you're gone. So you have to keep that charge up. That is, that is life. Yeah, that is life. So that's what that's all about. And the ions, again, like you said, create uh, a magnet effect pulling those toxins out through the soles of the feet. So we want, to, we want to prepare the day before to be hydrated. Exactly. Do we want to fast? Do we eat normally? Is that a, a uh, part I, of it? Well, I tell people, you know, of course, I always want people to eat healthy because that's what I'm all about. But, um, you know, to eat before they come because some people may have low blood sugar. Uh, the machine doesn't cause that. But I wouldn't want somebody to experience a low blood sugar uh, dizziness, you know, something while they're doing an iron right. cleanse, thinking that that may have caused it. And that really Which happens, was. though, anyway. But, it does happen. But, but you, you've seen it happen if, on, on a few people. But it, it's, that's a minor side effect. And usually it's somebody that hasn't been hydrated or hasn't eaten for a while. And so their blood sugar does fall. Well, yeah. it's usually people who have low blood sugar. Yeah, right. I've never had anybody uh, that it induced. Low no, blood I'm not saying the machine, yeah. but if, yes. if somebody hasn't eaten for a while and they have a blood sugar it, problem. It, most people w are going to feel, you know, lack of energy and a little dizzy headed and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Lethargic, maybe a little. Yeah, and then, but they feel so much better after, after the treatment, you know. Oh, it's. And, and actually, I have a couple of stories that I can tell, um, you know, that. The audience may be interested in hearing, and uh, once once you start this, you don't want to stop because no. you feel so much better after you do it. Just gives you a, an edge, a, a sense of well-being. Yes, you know, and I think we're all looking for that. You know, there's so much sludge in our body. Char, we're going to take a little break for a second. Okay. We'll be back with Char Delon talking about IN's foot cleanse, and uh, we'll see you in a moment. Thanks. <laughs> brings us together and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit homefoodsafety.org. Pets Healthy Owners, I'm Dr. Edwin Sokowski. I had to pick Abby and Tucker up because I think they're blending in with my black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had to pick them up and show you Abby and Tucker. But anyway, we're here with Char Delant. And Char was talking about one of the services she provides, one of the healing services, I call it. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're talking about ionic foot bath. And we left talking about actually the procedure of energy flow of negative and positive ions attracting one another and pulling out toxins mm -hmm. out of our body through our feet, which we do naturally. You've just enhanced that process by the foot bath. 
Exactly. So, so I wanted to actually, Char, if you would explain to the audience, I called up, I made an appointment. Again, Char does it at Sunny Birds Natural Foods and Cafe here in McMurray, and she does it at her home as well when, when, uh, on other days of the week. Right. And That's you're here right. every Saturday at, at Sunnybridge. Correct. And I call up, I make an appointment, and just go through the procedures. We talked before break about staying hydrated. We know we should do that. <clears throat> we know we should eat before we come in. Correct. We should take our medicine if we're on medicine. Correct. And don't disrupt our normal routine. No. So I come in, and you have prepared a, a, a hot foot bath. Yep. Do you put anything in that hot foot bath besides water? Uh, yes, I do. I make the bath as hot as you can handle so that the pores of your feet will open up. And the hotter you can handle it, the better you're going to get that flow through those pores in your feet. Uh, but there's a little bit of sodium chloride. Salt. That you add salt. Yeah, it's like uh, table salt might have some fillers and things in it. But sodium chloride is like a pure conducting agent. Yes. So it is like canning salt. People would use that in the canning process. And w as I do that, my goal in using that is to bring the charge and the, the amps and the volts up to a certain range to which it will start that flow. It will make those ions and that oxygen and start the flow. So I put my feet in there. You put your feet in the water. And do I feel anything? Some people feel um, little tingling sensations. They might f feel the charge slightly, but in general, most people don't. And how long do I, should I have my feet in this foot bath? Well, I do um, usually between 45 and 60 minute treatments. Does the water change? The water changes. Um, most of the time, the first thing that I see is chemical residues coming out. So I get different colors and hues, different hues that tell me what's coming out. And you've had, you've been doing this for how many years now? It's been a long it's time. Probably 16 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. And I do I one a week on myself and will. As yeah, and as, I, as I mentioned, when I moved away, I was, I was seeing you here at, right. at Sunny Bridge and at your home. And then when I moved away, I couldn't find anybody oh. close by to do it. So I bought a unit Yeah. because I, I noticed the difference when I would do it and not do it. And really, I think it helps relax you, but then you, you have a burst of energy after you do this. Yeah, you get energy. And a lot of yeah. people tell me, too, that after they do a treatment, that they they sleep really well. I that sleep they, well. They yeah. just sleep like a baby. Well, I had a, I had a friend that I brought to you because he was getting swelling in his legs. And you, you would visually see them yes. s swollen. And he'd do a foot bath. And right after the foot bath, his legs were normal. They'd go down. Yeah. Right, right. But that's that uric acid buildup. And that is one of the main things that it pulls out, the it, uric acid. And it, it pulls out lipids as well? Uh, I, yes. The, it, it pulls out cholesterol and fats, too. Because so you, you actually see them floating you'll on You'll see a, the cholesterol and fat comes out like a, a bubbly, frothy, fatty-looking substance yeah. laying on top of the water. Yes. Now, the uric acid comes out as a, a, a yellow color, a very yellow, almost like, just like urine. Like your own yard. Yeah. Are people amazed when they see what's in that? What's they, they are. They are like, wow. I had no idea my feet were going to be in swamp water when they get swamp, That's what it looks like, swamp water. Yeah, it looks water. like swamp water. Yes. <laughs> so, so, but everybody's is different. So everybody gets a different result. So you yes. see differences in the water. Yeah. So you're using the same tap water, the same salt, but you're seeing differences. Correct. Depending on the clients. Right. Now, the machine specifically pulls out certain things. So I won't see, uh, uh, I will see different amounts of different things come out of people. Like some people will have more uric acid, some people will have more chemicals come out. But that can change with each session that you do. Because you go online and there's people that poo-poo po po it, you know, and say it doesn't work. And it's just the, the, the electrolysis process changing the, the, the tap water. Or, or things like that. And of course, you know, I read all the time online how vitamin C does nothing for you yet. It's, it's absolutely critical for you. That's or a, vitamin E. Or vitamin E. That's mm -hmm. all proven yeah. you know, stuff. But you'll, all the naysayers will come up first because uh, for whatever reasons. And I most of the that. time, those people have never even tried the process. N never tried it. But I physically, you know, how many sessions I've, I did with you, but I actually went out and bought my own unit because I believed in the results of yep. it, you know. And, I'm, I, you know, I wasn't throwing away my money. No. You know. Uh, oh, it's, it's cellular. I mean, it's 
the, one of the best places you can start to detox your body, because there's many kinds of detox. And, and we're always under state of, of toxicity. The foods always. we eat, the air we breathe, the water we're drinking. Chemicals. It, yeah, it, it's terrible. So you need to reduce that load in order to stay healthy because right. you know, illness is really over toxicity that you're retaining and lack of nutrition, lack right. of nutrients. That's what causes illness. Right. I always say that there's two states of the body. There's wellness and there's... And dis-ease. There's I knew what you were going to say. Dis-ease. Yeah. The body's out of ease. And that's what disease is. Disease is. It's, it's just dis -ease. out of ease. Yeah. So let's find the way to ease it instead of, you know, someone saying, you have a disease. I think most Americans kind of like freak out a little bit when they hear somebody say that. They think, oh, this is something I'm going to have the rest of my life. But we don't have to think that way anymore because that's not true. Yeah. There's wellness and, and then there's that toxic state. Yeah, I often get kind of upset when I hear people talk about AIDS-related disease. Diseases aren't AIDS-related. No, they aren't. And our, our autoimmune diseases, I, that's a big one that really irks me. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, there's no possible way that your cell of your body can attack another cell of your body. It's attacking a foreign invader, and you're having collateral damage, which you see as signs and symptoms. Right. But it's not your, your cell attacking another cell. If I gave you my kidney, your body would attack my kidney. Exactly. But it's not going to attack. If you took your kidney out and put it back, it's not going to attack it. Well, most people are in a state of hyper, um, hypersensitivity because of all the pollutants and the toxins in right. their cells. Right. So and as a bad you, digestive tract, uh, out of balance. Not able to yeah. make enzymes or not able right. to digest or properly. Taking stomach anti-acids for the stomach and not able to digest your food, so you have lack of nutrition. In fact, if most food doesn't have good nutrition in any way, you always have to supplement. That's why we're thankful to stores like Sunnybridge. Oh, yes. But so, so important. Because you have to add those. They're not, in, they're not in the food. They're not baked into the food. They're not in the ground. They're not in the ground. That's, I mean, that's it, right. you know, even organic, I think it's like seven years, you know, that they, it has to be free of chemicals. But it takes time to rebuild those tr minerals. Those Absolutely, trace minerals it does. And those vitamins. Are there certain people that shouldn't do this ionic bath? Uh, really, the only person that is a concern is uh, someone who has a pacemaker. I would not do because that's an electrical charged uh, device. Uh -huh. So I would not do someone who had a pacemaker. And then how often should I be doing an ionic foot bath? Well, when the German government invented these machines in the 40s, um, they said to do one a week for every year you're alive. So let's say you're 30. Do 30 if, you, if you can do that, do 30 treatments once a week in a row, and then maintain it however you can. However, I do have clients that have been coming to me for 16 years once a week, and they do it every week because they know the difference. They feel the difference. They feel and see the difference. They do. So they come all the time. So, so once you're on this protocol, this program, what changes should I see in my body? Okay, first of all, you're going to have a better sense of well-being. All over general, better sense of well-being. More energy, better sleep. Uh, you may not see this, but you're going to have the ability to get nutrition into the cell. So over a long period of time, you know, your cells are going to regenerate because they're going to be getting the nutrition that they need because the garbage is out of the cells. So there's space in there to get that in to rebuild and repair that cell. And you always hear this, you are what you eat. But okay. I would tell you, you are what you eat, you are what you absorb, and you are what you eliminate. Yes. And, exactly. and this, this ionic cleanse helps that All process. All that process, yes, because it's it's absolutely giving your body a better uh, ability to absorb, you know, as you get those toxins out of the cells. Yes. So, so we do this for 45 minutes to an hour each visit. Mm -hmm. Once we've, let's say you're 30 years old and you, and you go through the 30, the, the recommended 30 treatments, and now you're doing it once a month. So would you then continue for that 45 minutes an hour? Or is it better every other week to do a half an hour? Um, I think it's a personal choice. And, you know, everybody is in a different environment. If you have a job where you're in a toxic environment, you know, our earth is pretty toxic. Yeah. So I, I personally feel I do 60 minutes once a week on myself. Like I said, I have for now 16 years. So if you can do that, 
uh, that's good. Yeah. So uh, you're, how long are you at Sunnybridge on a Saturday? Um, I start appointments at 9.30. I'm there from 9 o'clock until 5. And I, I have to, you know, take time. Usually I do an hour treatment, and then I have to clean the machines, yes. which is, I'm very, 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 uh, I'm going to say picky about the hygiene. I want to make sure that it's all done hygienically correct. Yes, and you, you even use liners in your in your foot buckets. Absolutely, and, and yeah. So nobody forth. puts their foot into a bucket that somebody else had their foot in. There's a liner right. in that bucket. So, so this machine stays outside the bucket, but you have a, a diode that you put in, yes. in the water itself. They call it the array. The array. And that array... Uh, creates the positive and negative ions and the oxygen, and it has slots on it which are like magnets. And, and you actually have to replace those every so often because they cor they corrode away, they dissolve. Yeah, they get they get uh, less effective. Yeah. So uh, I replace them generally every thirty um, cleanses. Every thirty cleanses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I didn't know that, but the Germans came up with this system. Yeah, back in the 40s, back in, uh, I'm not sure what year exactly, but the 40s, they invented this machine. Their sole purpose was to invent it to keep their pilots free from chemical toxicity. Because, you know, I don't know whether most people know this or not, but Germany is more a homeopathic-based country. So their goal, and they pay for health care, so their goal is to uh, prevent and heal yeah. It's not waiting till somebody gets sick and then drugging, testing, and cutting. You mean it's the, the reactive medical care we have here as opposed to the proactive? The allop allopathic versus yeah. homeopathic. Homeopathic is, you know, yes, there might be a time where a person could use a drug to lower their blood pressure, but then that person in, over in Germany would be sent to a nutritionist well, to change their lifestyle. And that's my only complaint with medicine here. You know, we have the best medicine. We have the best trained we do. people. We do. We do. Uh, but for some reason, we developed a, a reactive situation in the medicine. We don't try to keep ourselves healthy. We don't look at wellness. Right. We do whatever we want. We get toxic, we, whatever it is, and then we wait till there's a problem. Then, then we call what I call Frankenstein medicine. <laughs> we, we, we cut it. Yep. We sew it back on, or we suppress it. Isn't we that, how they, it, it, isn't that how they made Frankenstein? We never look at the root cause of the problem. Exactly. You know, we have high blood pressure. I got a pill for that. We treat the symptom. Yeah, I got a pill for that, you know? Yeah, yeah. But why aren't we looking at what caused the high blood pressure? Resolving that, then we don't need the pill. We don't... Let's face it. Because that pill may be lowering the blood pressure, but it's yeah. creating damage other, where, uh, other places in our body. Yeah. You the know? prevention and the cure is what it should, medicine should be about. And I think it was that way many years ago. Oh, sure. But... Uh, but it's all changed, and it's, it seems to have come about to be the, the mighty dollar chase, you know. The and you get on a pill, dollar. and you're on that pill for the rest of your life. Right. And it used to be, okay, you know, it, you, you were a senior citizen, you got on pills. Now, if you're 40 years old, oh. and you're not on a medication, there's something wrong, and they're putting kids on medications. Oh, yeah. They're right. putting babies on Prilosec. They think there's something wrong with you if you're not yeah. doing a med. Yeah, well, I know. I know. So it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, what do you mean you're not taking a medication? And if you're, if you're 80 years old and you're not on medication, boy, we better put you in the hospital and get you on some. <laughs> That's what it seems like. It does seem that way. You, you know, know, you're absolutely right. And, and, and they're, they're shocked that somebody could be 80 years old and not be on a medication. Right, right. You know, but the, the idea, again, is to all these different modalities to keep your toxic load down. Right. You know, we don't get sick from a virus. We don't get sick from bacteria. We get sick from the load and, and mm -hmm. the, the products that those, cell, those bacteria and viruses create. You right. know, endotoxins, mycotoxins, these things, these, the, what, the metabolic process creates these toxins. That's what makes us sick. Right, and, and our, immune, our immune system, therefore, gets overwhelmed. Gets overwhelmed yeah. because they were in a state of hypersensitivity. And then, you know we have a symptom. So we just did a treatment for 60 minutes. Yes. Is there a protocol I should follow after that treatment? Uh, well, yes, I think, you know, just it's a good idea to uh, give your body a break sometime from foods that you're eating. And I always tell people, too, that uh, when you come in for a, a physical ionic foot bath detox, to think about 
your spiritual men mental self and maybe uh, uh, see some of the worries of the day and see some of the uh, problems that you're having in your life just like that stuff that's coming out of your feet just come right out with it visualize that yeah one of the things you do do is you have offer everybody electrolytes to replenish I do because you've drained some of the electrolytes in this detox exactly yes. and then you ask them to hydrate again for the rest hydrate, of the day hydrate more yeah. that's right yeah, yeah. Well, I would recommend uh, Shar's uh, procedure here with the ionic foot bath. As Thank I say, you. I've used it uh, for years before I left, and when I, uh, when I left, I bought my own. So uh, I see the results from it. I want to thank you, Shar. Shar Delon, oh, so for coming in and talking to us and educating us on, the, on this foot bath well, I process. I appreciate you having me, and, you know, they, people can get a hold of me, and I can tell them everything yeah, that it pulls out. Your information was put up on screen. Okay. And then I want to remind everybody that you can hear me live every Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on AM 1250, The Answer, on my radio show, which is Healthy Pets, Healthy People, which is kind of an extension of this TV show. You know, we try to get topics and guests on there. But this is live, and you're able to call in and speak where you can on the TV show. But, um, it, you know, it's, it's a nice show with a lot of information being delivered, so I appreciate you watching us. I will be lecturing at Sunnybridge March 8th. Our topic is going to be on heart support. Uh, no, February 8th on heart support, March 8th on memory. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll also be lecturing in... Uh, uh, Atlanta at the, on March 11th at a pet expo and at the Freedom Health Organization in Oakmont on March 29th and we're going to be talking about adrenal glands and thyroid issues. So thank you so much Char. Thank you. Th thank you for watching Healthy Pets Healthy Owners. Remember a healthy pet is a happy pet and when you're healthy you're happy too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.